Everybody. Again, I got 10 minutes to do this live because I'm on my way to the part-time gig. Uh, how y'all feel about this Liam Neeson situation? Like, for those of you guys who are uh, following the story, I guess he had done an interview uh, with a British... Uh, uh, British company um, I don't know if it's a newspaper or it's called the entertainment so I don't know if it's a newspaper or if it's a actual televised show or whatnot but oh um, 10 degrees here so I'm like shaking in my bones didn't let my car warm up but anywho um I've been checking out the blogs and everything about what had happened and I guess what had happened was Liam Neeson had um, made some statements about something he had did in his past. I think he said it was like 30, 40 years ago. Uh, a while ago. Put it that way. And somebody real, rear, rear. I can't talk. <laughs> somebody really um, near and dear to him had got, I guess, violently raped, and she claimed it was by a, you know, black person, and Liam Neeson felt like he had to honor her by getting revenge on the person who raped her, but he didn't know who raped her. Hey, Emery, hi. And is that Chef? What's up, Chef? Um, he didn't know who raped her. Didn't know what the black guy looked like. He had like a vague description. He knew the guy was black. But what he did was every day for a week, he would walk up and down the street through the neighborhoods, you know, through the town where they lived or whatnot, you know, with a stick looking for a black man to give him any reason to go upside his head. Um, and I guess he's telling this story because he knew that it would get out there and so he wanted to try to jump in front of it. But my whole thing is should he have perhaps maybe kept quiet? Because a lot of people now it's like throw the whole Liam Neeson away. You know, we know this man for many movies, many shows. You know, he's a big actor. He uh, starred in the movie Taken, which is like one of my all-time favorite movies, Taken 1 and 2, and I think there's a Taken 3. Um, and uh, he also starred in um, Widows alongside, you know, Viola, the beautiful Viola Davis. So, you know, I really liked him as, as an actor. But um, you said you have all th love all three of them. Yes, I love all the movies. He is a really great actor, but I I'm not ready to throw him away yet or cancel him out. Like a lot of the uh, even people in Britain, you know, um, where he's from, they're like cancel him. He need to be canceled out. But then you know you have to look at that. How old was he then? This was like 40 years ago. You know, I think we all sometimes do things um, in our past that are very immature or wrong, maybe harmful to others. Um, and then we grow up, we mature, we do better, we learn from our mistakes. I got that feeling from him now. You might feel differently. If you do, let me know. Let me know. Yeah, people change over the years. And I'm like, okay, check it out. Remember just a few weeks ago, um, Kevin Hart was being, you know, lashed out at over some uh, homosexual slurs. 
maybe some vulgar slurs that he had put on his tw on his uh, not Twitter on his um maybe it was Twitter I think it was Twitter or either IG one of the two and they didn't want him you know to do the award show and he did back down. I mean, he apologized and apologized to people. People were still, you know, he don't deserve that spot. He don't deserve that shine. But, um, he don't deserve that spot. He don't deserve that shine. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of potholes on this road I'm on. But, um, and we had his bag, did we not? Now, he might not have been running down the street with a stick yelling out those homosexual you know slurs but it was very hurtful painful to you know a certain community and he apologized and this was years ago when he had did that so it's like why can't we ever just give people a chance to prove to us that they've grown you know what i'm saying like I can see if something happened recently within the last few years, the last five years, and he went and jumped on some black men, you know, hate crime, you know, something like that. But nobody was injured. Um, I can't recall if they ever found, you know, the person who raped his friend. They did say that she, um, can I get around this car? They did say that she passed away. She passed away, so you know, she's no longer with us. But, uh, sorry, it's a little dark right here. I really hate when people park right in front of the nursing home. This pisses me off. But people will park right in front of the nursing home, right in front of the door, and go in the building and visit whomever they trying to visit sorry <clears throat> i had my wi-fi on it was trying to connect to my job but um i think we all need to learn to give people you know a chance before we just throw them all away you know and i think what he what he did like he said he he wanted to also um out himself because of the fact there's probably a lot of people walking around with a lot of anger and a lot of racial um, hate, uh, maybe homosexual, homophobic, you know, hate running through their veins and they might need help and need counseling. He did say he sought counseling. He also went to a priest. He did confessions. I mean, it sounds to me like he, you know, tried to try to you know really better himself and make himself a better person and learn from what he did now this is just my take on it you might feel differently about it but you might feel differently about it but i would like to know how y'all feel you know put it in the comments let me know people who do things like 10 30 40 years ago i mean this was old in his life this was old you know in his life and he outed himself. He outed himself. It wasn't like somebody else came and was like, uh, we heard that you did this, that, and the third. You know, like some people, they don't come out until it's in the tabloids, it's on the blogs, and they feel like they have to come out and speak. So I think this is, you know, something that could benefit others who might be dealing with the same issues, you know, um, that's just what I think. But again, y'all let me know what you like. I'm not going to throw Liam away yet. Now, if I do decide to throw him away, <laughs> it's going to be because I didn't heard something else that he has done or that he's not telling the full truth. But until that time, I am going to give him another chance. Just like a lot of us wanted to give Kevin Hart another chance. I am going to, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt that he really did learn from what he did and that's that that's that but anyway y'all i'm at work so let me run my butt up in here and knock out these few little part-time hours so in the meantime and in between time prime time squad you know how we do stay safe be blessed and